There is a Northeast Ohio home which is filled with stardom wall to wall. It is a home that has the glitter of Disney, the drama of Broadway, and the sheer excitement of the circus. This is a story which goes beyond the house which holds all of this. It is really centered on the man who's as much a part of a production as the performers on stage. Here's My Ohio with Liam Bibb. You know, it takes a lot to put on a big entertainment production. This is the story of one of your Northeast Ohio neighbors whose hand is in it all. The old saying, a drawing is a line going for a walk. Here a pencil walks the line, pushed by a man with designs on stardom. His pencil's path is familiar, for the man knows the way. Perhaps a face not familiar, but what he creates is both familiar and stunning. One of the most expensive things I ever did was a ball gown for Eliza in My Fair Lady. A costume designer for theater. What is created begins in the fertile mind of Greg Public. His studio was tucked behind his home in the Lake County, Ohio village of Waite Hill. Here there are several theatrical arts converging. We are headed for the top of the stairs. Some of New York's Broadway theater and other productions begin here. I'll show you some of the stuff I've been working on today. I'm working on the, the townspeople for Frozen. Frozen, the Disney animated film. Greg Poplick is creating costumes for Disney's ice show, Frozen. He and his assistant costume designer are surrounded by their ideas still on paper. For years, Poplick has been a costume designer for productions. Actors' stage costumes help tell their stories. Using color and fabric and texture and everything, every other tool that you have and bring it to life. Assistant Patrick Wiley does costume research. He also keeps the designer within a set budget. Costuming is what is worn on the stage. And the next one's the elephant ride. It's in theatrical designers. He's perfectly well suited to do Broadway musicals, opera, things like that. Something that um, appears on a large stage, has a lot of life to it, has to read from the back of the house. A turn of the century receiving gown. A woman might wear this at breakfast before starting her day. What Poplick has to keep in mind is the character who will wear this costume and what the director of the scene is trying to say. This says a woman who is well-to-do, a lady of leisure. Ooh, pardon me. Again, that's what its job is, is to set the tone of where we are. What is this woman all about? Stage clothing helps in the storyline. Poplick understands theater, remembering the moment as a child he attended an opera and found his passion. And then it started to snow on stage. And it was public auditorium at the time, big stage, and it's snowing inside. And my, my, my mouth just went, you know, drop the jar of it. I've got to do this. Years later, Broadway posters abound. He is passionate about all of theater, but it is costume designing which tugs his heart. His inspirations come from everywhere, even scenes from outside his Wait Hill window. A snowfall prompts thoughts for costumes for the Disney ice show Frozen. Show producers knew Disney's movie and also knew Greg Poplick's ability to clothe their actors on ice. They were kind enough to say, we saw Frozen, you're the designer. No one can do this but you. And I was like, so flattered. He's in his zone right now. Frozen is his zone. He, he, yeah. He's frozen, he's frozen, frozen in on Frozen. He's frozen in on Frozen. Frozen is his zone. Zones run the gamut, even to the circus. Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus knows Poplick. With exception of the clowns, he designs costumes for everyone, from acrobats to orchestra members to even... Um, you know, a handler who's uh, sweeping up after the elephants. Yeah were responsible for clothing them, including the elephants. <laughs> a studio filled with costumes which have starred under the lights of show business, Greg Poplick's work. A costume from Jesus Christ Superstar, a robe worn by the character Jude in biblical times. 2,000 years later, a dress for the Broadway production of Scandalous, a $5,000 dress. It ain't cheap designing for Broadway. 
Is there pressure there? There's always pressure. <laughs> there always is pressure. You always have to be good because... Story of a designer of costumes who grew up in Northeast Ohio and was bitten by the theatrical bug. Greg Poplick is now deeply woven into the fabric of theater. Greg Poplick designs what is the second skin of a performer, what the audience will see. A moving portrait of the costume designer. You know, Greg Poplick has worked shows coast to coast. On his resume are Scandalous, My Fair Lady, Masquerade, The Music Man, A Christmas Carol, Jesus Christ Superstar, and many, many more. Story of a Northeast Ohio man who physically is not on the stage or the ice or in the circus himself, but who is there from hats to shoes and everything between. For Live on 5, covering my Ohio, I'm Leon Bibb.